Welcome to Tidbit Talkin'. This series is just spewing out assorted thoughts about boatloads of entertainment media. Some ideas are serious, others not so much. There will be spoilers for the series currently featured, but generally only vague references to any other connected ones in a shared universe. Now, with all that out of the way, here we go. These guys being frequently insulted with the term Toad must be because the original Warty Warriors legend simply wound up on Earth in a not-so-flattering and rather inaccurate form. However, despite this story mangling, the thread this planet spun remained so similarity sufficient that whatever lingo spread out from it, even centuries later, retained accuracy bits with enough oomph that rude people could at least subconsciously, correctly aim vile verbiage towards folks, resembling certain quirky colossal combatants of yore. Speaking of which, these externally labeled failures are worthy of amphibious awesomeness because they're impressively optimistically creative brains, which make them have gargantuan self-worth no matter how much others hurl belittlement, can perpetually produce moods that allow slimy more power to remain constantly optimum. That is, since these dudes can always find reasons to believe they are amazing no matter what, there won't ever be moments where there isn't enough psyched upness going on for bodily shapeshift filled weapon creation action. By the way, the galaxy's dominating ruler would consider humanity's home planet unworthy of conquering because its people generally consider her attire somewhat less than formal. Anyway, that genetic essence Professor T-Bird's phrase on everybody must be surface slime that was gathered over time following many post-battle medical checkups the original hopping heroes went through. It would have been collected for reasons similar to banking blood. Recently mutated Dave would know how to throw a convenience store freezer towards this royal highness without killing her because Oxnard's bullies regularly shoved him into one as part of their normal jerk routine. Apparently, these people possess tech that allows them to turn any old hole into a worm one. The Dark Queen Force's clever insults of pimple rash and zits pretty much confirms that these name words hold identical meanings in more developed galactic quadrants. Thus, the princess's insistence that those monikers are honorable isn't a case of language barrier misunderstanding hoopla. Instead, those titles must be considered quite the accolades because their original bearers prove that no matter how seemingly gross an individual is, it can still contribute greatly to society. The easily climbable for Ultra Mutants jotting deals shown throughout this cylinder power generator doodad must serve some sort of purpose related to absorbing excess heat or whatever. Endings are a pain, but all of you are fantastic. See ya.